Okay, I got a new style for you guys here. I wanna show you how to get into ketosis with my checklist system. This is how my brain thinks, but I'm gonna do it in five minutes. So it's gonna be real quick. And this is how I think when I'm working with a patient, I look at, have you tried this? Have you tried this? Have you tried this? That's what I'm gonna show you in this video. If you want to experience all the variations we teach, the fasting variation, the keto variation, Join us in our next Metabolic Reset. It is gonna start, we have another one starting in July, and it's a 15-day experience where I will take you through all the different variations and show you how you finally get into ketosis. So if you wanna join us in that, just put Metabolic Reset in the comments and we'll send you a link. So, but enjoy. Okay, five minutes. I'm gonna give you five of my favorite tips to get you into ketosis. So before, and then I'll give you five bonus tips as well. But before I launch into that, I wanna remind you that there are two ways to get into ketosis. There's manipulating your food. We call those macros, changing your food, and there's fasting. So what a lot of people do is they just fast longer and they don't work on the food and then they're trying to figure out why they can't get into ketosis. And some people do the opposite. They bring their carbs down really low and they're not using the principles of fasting and they're not getting into ketosis. So in order to get into ketosis, we've got to look at both of those. What are you eating? How long are you fasting? Okay, my tip number one. You, if you want to get into ketosis, you're going to have to take refined carbohydrates out of your diet. So these are the breads, the pastas, the crackers, the cookies. Take them out. It's going to make it much easier for your body to switch over into a fat burning mode and for you to get into ketosis. Okay, second thing. You've taken those out. Now what I want you to do is add in more fat. And I would do it in this order. So if you're new to uh, understanding the ketogenic diet, do it in this exact order that I'm telling you. So increase your good fat, more nut butters, more ghee, more avocados, um, things like that. Well, oils, Andre's seed oils, those kind of MCT oil, all of that is gonna help to stabilize your blood sugar and allow your liver to understand that it needs to be a fat burner now. Okay, number three, once you've done those first two steps, you're gonna start tracking your net carbs. And I like to start people at 50 net carbs. So we recommend something called Carb Manager, where you're gonna track and make sure that you are not going over 50 net carbs. Net carbs is you're subtracting total carbs for, and you're taking the fiber out and that's giving the net carbs, okay? So that's step number three. Okay, now you've done that, the next step is you're ready to start to look at your protein. So one of the biggest problems with the ketogenic diet is that everybody forgets that this is not a high protein diet, this is a moderate protein diet. So the fourth step I want you to do is you're gonna keep your protein under 50 grams, okay? And clean protein, the organic antibiotic free protein is the best. Okay, and then step number five is you're gonna stop eating toxins. So there's something called dirty keto, and it is not how you wanna get into ketosis. It is where people are bringing their carbs down, just like they went low fat years ago, but they're eating chemical filled foods, and that will prevent you long-term from getting into ketosis. So the fifth step of getting into ketosis is you gotta clean up your food. You gotta make sure that you're not eating processed oils, the bad oils like canola oil, vegetable oil, soybean oil, partially hydrogenated oils. You gotta make sure you're not doing fructose. You gotta make sure you're not doing NutraSweet. NutraSweet makes you insulin resistant. So get the chemicals out is my fifth step. Okay, here are my five bonus tips. If you have done those five things, and you're still not getting into ketosis, then you may have to lower your carbs down even more. So you might have to go even under 20 grams. Okay, second bonus tip 
is you might actually have to fast longer. So we see this a lot in our clinic where, and in our academy, where people are like, I'm doing everything you said to do, but really the big thing is that we just gotta get you fasting longer. So if you're intermittent fasting and you're doing keto together, it might be that you need to do some 24 hour fast. You might need to do a 48 hour fast. You might even need to do a three day water fast. Go watch the video I just did on that, on how to get into a three day water fast. Okay, third trick, you might have to bring the protein down as well. So you might have to bring your, your protein under 20 grams so you can stimulate autophagy. Fourth trick, you might have to vary this. You might have to have a 50 gram carb day and you might have to have a 20 gram carb day. So you might need to vary it. And the last thing is if you've tried all that, it is time to detox. You're gonna have to pull the toxins out. Okay, so there you go. Those are my five ways to get into ketosis and the five bonus tips. If you wanna experience this, join us in our next Metabolic Reset. Just put Metabolic Reset in the comments and we'll invite you in.